Welcome to the Electric Service Center and our temporary workshop. Today, we'll be showing you how to remove and replace the rear wheel of an XP 3.0. Before we begin, you'll need some tools ready to go. You will need side cutters, zip ties, a hand ratchet, a 17mm long socket, a torque wrench, and a 5mm Allen wrench. First, you will see three zip ties that are holding the motor cable, brake cable, and shifting cable together. Snip these zip ties to free up the motor cable. Unplug the motor cable. This is important as you will not be able to remove the wheel if it is still plugged in. Next, use a 5mm Allen wrench to remove the screw holding the torque arm. Now, using a 17mm long socket and a hand ratchet, loosen the axle nuts but do not completely remove it. On the other side of the wheel, use a 5mm Allen wrench to remove the screw holding down the torque arm. Then, using a 17mm long socket and a hand ratchet, loosen the axle nut but again, don't remove it. your rear wheel is ready to be removed. In some cases, the wheel will not fall directly off the dropouts. If this is the case, shimmy the rear wheel back and forth so the wheel will fall out of the dropouts. If your derailleur guard falls out of place, that's okay. Just make sure you hold on to it as you will need to install it with the new rear wheel. You are now ready to install your new rear wheel. Slide your rear wheel into place, making sure that your brake rotor is on the opposite side of the drivetrain. Also, when sliding your wheel into place, make sure the chain lands on your flywheel and it's not between gears. Now, push the wheel up into the dropouts. Grab the 5mm screw you removed from the torque arm earlier and hand screw that in by hand. Use a 5mm Allen wrench to tighten it all the way down, then repeat the process on the opposite side. Now, using your 17mm long socket, tighten the rotor side nut down slightly. Before you replace the drive side axle nut, make sure to place the derailleur guard back into place. Now, replace the axle nut on the drive side. Then, drop the bike onto the floor and use a torque wrench to torque down the axle nuts to 35 newton meters. Now, with the bike back on the stand, plug the motor cable back in. Make sure to feed it on the inside of the kickstand. Then zip tie the motor cable to the designated notch on the dropout. And zip tie the three cables to the designated notches further up the dropout. You can avoid the cylinder on the bottom of the dropout as it is not necessary to zip tie anything to it. Finally, pedal your bike and shift the gears to make sure that the wheel is spinning straight and the gears are shifting correctly. You've now replaced the rear wheel on your XP 3.0. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our customer service team at contact.electricebikes.com or give us a call at 602-715-0907. Thanks for watching.